here in this segment. He is the state's auditor and would like to be the state's next attorney general. JB, good morning. Good morning, fellas. How are y'all? Good. Very good. Thank you. Thanks what for having me. brings you to the Eastern Panhandle today? Sir? We are going out to Shepherd um, for a really exciting announcement that um, the university is having regarding substance abuse disorder and some of the really exciting technological advancements that they are uh, spearheading and championing. Uh, and I couldn't be more excited to, to join President Hendricks and, and uh, a bunch of other dignitaries as we sort of showcase how Shepard is, is helping to lead the way in um, what is the fight of our state's uh, life, really. Mm-hmm. Are you doing anything after that in the area, or are you headed back? So I got we have our event at Shepard, uh, and then I got to go to Wheeling. Uh, the, the Manufacturers Association is having their... Uh, their summer meeting, and so I'm going to go stop by and see a bunch of supporters and, and talk to job creators there in Wheeling, and then uh, we got to go to Putnam County after that. So we got a big day. Yeah, and, and it continues, and on and on it goes, I guess. Well, not on and on. There's only uh, seven more days, but I'm not counting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, JB, let's talk about the differences between you and your your opponent, Mike Stewart, for this race. How do you differentiate between the two of you? Well, I, I particularly like to to highlight sort of what my experience is and and what my um, perspective brings to the to the attorney general's office. So, as, as your listeners know, I've been the last I've been the auditor for the last seven and a half years, and I've been a public servant sort of my entire life. It was bred into me by my my family. We believe that. Um, a life is well lived when you make sure that the people that are on either side of you uh, have a hand up and a way better to the middle class. And and so we have dedicated ourselves to the people of West Virginia and their success. And so for the last seven and a half years, we've made West Virginia the most transparent state in the entire United States through our uh, West Virginia checkbook program. We have prosecuted more than uh, almost, well, we've prosecuted exactly 47 people to felony conviction for fraud throughout the state of West Virginia. We have roughly 90 felony cases that we are investigating today. Um, We have completely reorganized the land division in our office to make it uh, simpler and faster and and easier for local governments. We have uh, eliminated a lot of the bad property buyers uh, in West Virginia and and really empowered our local governments to take control over bad buildings, buildings that are dangerous and and make our communities less safe so that they can use them for development. Um, as opposed to them falling into this cycle of disrepair. We've uh, gotten more than $50 million uh, dedicated by the legislature, thanks uh, to to the legislators out here for voting for that, but um, to tear down bad buildings. And we've, uh, in in the span of 18 months, we went from idea to funding to to demolition, which is much faster than the government usually works. Um, And we've done uh, a lot in our securities division. We're currently working on a, a very sophisticated investigation into a company called BlackRock. Um, I can't say too much more about that, but um, the state of Mississippi last month uh, uncovered what was a, a fairly significant uh, discrepancy in, in the ways that some of our uh, 